All right, guys, I'm going to explain something here, okay, about cranks, rods, rod stamps. Oh, my God. People driving me nuts with this constantly. All right, so there's, like, this big misconception that you buy a YD100, and it's 40 millimeters. Chances are it's probably a 40 millimeter stroke. It does not mean it is. Here's an AF80. People are like, oh, I bought an AF80. I got 40 millimeter stroke. No, that doesn't mean anything. The rod stamp means nothing. And there is actually no difference between these two rods in total length. There's like 90% of them are all long rods. They're all the same. Okay. This rod stamp, the only difference between the two is the weight. This one's going to weigh a little more than this one. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Make sure it works. Can you see it? All right. At zero grams, here's a YD100. We're at 90 grams. Here is the AF80. We're at 88 grams. Okay. Now why is that significant? Well, the reason that that is like it is, is to offset the weight of the piston and also because usually the materials are a little bit different in thickness and stuff. So, but if you look at these, I'm telling you, they are identical. I mean, the holes and stuff are in a little bit different spots. But, let's see. Let's get it perfect for you guys. Okay, that is perfectly lined up. Thing. Alright. So, those are two different rods, okay? Alright, so you're probably wondering why I said one for one and one for the other. Okay. This is a YD100 crank cap. Alright. This is an 80cc crank cap. Do you notice how one's slightly thicker? Alright. So, in terms of weight and balance and all that, this is now heavier on this side than this one because of the thickness difference. Okay? So, when I say a YD100 rod is slightly heavier, okay, is because it adds more weight to this side plus the piston for all that mass going around. Because that's why they make this slightly thicker. To offset the weight of the piston and the rod and all that. So, just keep that in mind. The reason an AF80 is a couple grams lighter is because this mass is slightly less and the piston slightly less, so when all this goes around, it's closer to being balanced. So I just wanted to make that clear. But all in all, you could put this one or this one and vice versa and so forth. So I just wanted to put that in, but there's a lot to why these two rods are different. And their purposes and the types of cranks they usually go on. Now here's another one. This is the short rod and everyone always wants to know what's a short rod. That's it right there, okay? It's got an offset on it of about five millimeters. <clears throat> and the reason that they do that is for the geometry of the top half to match the bottom half. And you have to use a different piston. Some will use a high hole piston with this. And some will use a low hole piston. So it all depends on what that top end needs for the crank to match the port structure or the top end. So that's why there's two different kinds of rods. Now you're probably going, well, okay, I bought an AF80. That's 40 millimeter stroke. It says it on it. Well... I mean, like I said, it's just a rod stamp to identify what kind of rod you have and what kind of weight it is. Now, this one right here is a 40 millimeter stroke crank. It's an old one. And what it is, 
is the center point of that to the center point of that on this one is 20 millimeters from that center <clears throat> to that center okay so as this turns it's 20 in this direction and it's 20 in this direction okay this is um, a 38 millimeter stroke okay so it's 19 from the center point of that pin to the center point of that pin okay all right so this one now that we got this is a 36 millimeter stroke okay this is like what people want for the saw builds and stuff okay well we put a bearing on it and we put a yd100 rod on it now because that says yd100 this is not a 40 millimeter stroke do you get what i'm saying now so i hope that kind of clears stuff up this is a 36 millimeter stroke with a yd100 rod on it you know and same goes for these 50 cc ones you know it, it could be on anything it could be on a 36 it could be on a 38 it could be on a 40. you have no idea till you measure from the center point of that to the center point of that 